Hello friends, James Stevenson here with a video about global electric vehicle market share. Uh, but it's also an episode of Breakfast with Loki. Let's check on Loki. There he is in bed, waiting expectantly for breakfast. Let's grab that for him. There you go, buddy. All right, we'll see if we can coax him out with something. All right, and while Loki is deciding whether to eat his breakfast now or later, I will share my screen with you and show you a tweet that I sent out earlier today. Captioning it, fill in the blank, the competition is ellipsis. That's what the uh, dot 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 is called, for those who don't know. And the thinking face emoji here, and a cash tag, Tesla. So I didn't cash tag everybody else here because there are a lot of competitors in this chart. Let me click this and make it a little bit bigger. And actually, I'm not a fan of the way Twitter compresses images, so I'll show you a slightly higher resolution of this where I made it in my Excel uh, spreadsheet. So uh, here, here's the information that I charted Oh, let me move the camera so you can see Loki eating his breakfast. Good boy, buddy. I'll just adjust the height here for a second while you glance over the... Uh... Yeah, good boy, Loki. Uh, while you glance over the chart here, you can see, uh, has Tesla lost market share? Well, the bottom row is 2022. The top row is year-to-date May 2023. Why that period of time? Because my source, Bank of America uh, Global Research, uh, put out a note in July that was for year-to-date May. So that's all the data they had ready to go uh, by the time July uh, rolled around. And so that's the data being presented here. Tesla's slightly above 20% of the global EV market. So you add up all the countries all around the world. Forget the noise about which country is up and which country is down. How about total? How about how many cars are you selling in total that are electric vehicles? Uh, this is what the market share distribution looks like. So back in 2022, Tesla was at about 17%. That was good enough for first place. They increased that by three points, which is more than anybody else increased their market share by from 2022 to year-to-date May 2023, according to this research, uh, again, by Bank of America Global Research. And uh, BYD also doing really well from right at 12% to about 14.5%, so up 2.7 percentage points. They're also gaining market share with almost all of this happening in China. They have a lot of models and they're selling most of what they produce in China. Then we got uh, Volkswagen here, 7.5% uh, in both years. GAC, uh, there's a bunch of China only EV manufacturers on this list. Uh, Wuling, you see here, is selling fewer of their mini uh, micro EVs. Loki, did you finish your food? You did. You're a good boy, buddy. Let's get you a treat. Let's get you a treat. Yes. Good boy, Loki. Yes. All right. And I will return this camera to whence it came so you can watch Loki. Ch -ch 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 chow down on his treat. All right, uh, so the next, uh, I, I just, uh, after that, you have to kind of stack these vertically to get them to fit in their square. Uh, so you, I've got the data labels horizontal for the ones that'll fit horizontal. And then beginning with Stellantis, you have to stack them vertically because there's not room uh, to put them side to side within the confines of their market share percentage. So you got Stellantis, one of the world's largest uh, vehicle manufacturers, you know, high on the list, uh, not making all that many EVs yet. Then you got BMW here, they're doing better than they were last year from 2.8 to 3.6, that's pretty good. Uh, 
Geely and Volvo are called out separately here. They actually gave them kind of weird descriptions. Let me show you what they called them. Well, uh, I don't have it in this one. I have it here. Um, they called the first one Geely Volvo Car Group. Uh, no, they called the first one Geely Auto Group, and they called the second one Geely Volvo Car Group. I don't know what those mean, uh, but there you go. So this is the source data for the charts. Uh, they just gave it to us in a big table. I don't find a big table to be all that informative. Oh, <laughs> so maybe I should share my desktop with you, and that'll help more. Uh, goodness. I'm just... Just doing the best I can here, folks. This is a one-man shop. Uh, just me. And I can't toss this video either because Loki did actually eat his breakfast. I can't reshoot. So I'll just show you what I was talking about. Uh, let me make this fit the screen a little bit better. So here's the Bank of America Global Research, Global Bev Sales, and Market Share data that I plotted on my chart. Where's the chart? I'll minimize this. Here's the chart. We were just looking at this before. I actually copied over everything because that was a PDF into an Excel spreadsheet here uh, with check figures and such. And I kind of organized it a little bit better. And the market share percentages did not add up to 100%. So they're, they're not pretending that they have every single EV manufacturer called out here on this uh, short list because they only have 81.5% of the market share accounted for in 2022, 87.5% in year-to-date May 2023. Uh, somehow they're getting a, a total without identifying which companies, or maybe they're all so small uh, they're not worth calling out, or for some other reason they decided to, to leave them out. Uh, so I just called those others and add these blocks uh, to the chart. And that's my chart. The other one that I, I put in the thread is this one. Man, that is really hard to see. The, the way that I have my windows oriented here. Oh, let me put this camera a little bit closer back to Loki here. There you are, buddy. Loki is my co-host. He's helping today. Yes? You're doing great work, buddy. You keep it up. Uh, look at that face. He's such a good uh, YouTube channel helper. All right, so uh, these are just the unit counts here. So Tesla sold over 1.3 million uh, BEVs last year. All Tesla sells is electric vehicles. And uh, this year, they're the only automaker to have sold more than half a million vehicles. Estimating 673,000 for year-to-date May, it's actually more than that that have been reported by Tesla now, but they don't have year-to-date May information for everybody, uh, only for Tesla. And Tesla only released that a couple of days before this note came out on July 5th, I think. Uh, somebody was kind enough to share the uh, B of A global research note with me so that I could make charts out of it. Uh, because the people at B of A neglected to make charts uh, of the stuff that I think they should have made charts out of. Uh, what did they make charts out of? Different stuff. That, that's not the point of this video. point of the video is, uh, if you've heard people say that the competition is coming for Tesla and that Tesla's market share is going to collapse because competitors are starting to make EVs, uh, it has not shown up in the numbers yet, right? The, those other automakers are going to have to get really busy making a lot more electric vehicles. Uh, and you know who will be the happiest uh, person in the world if that happens? Elon Musk, who set up the company Tesla with the purpose of accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. He wants every, com every car maker on Earth to be making electric vehicles. So the more of them that do that, uh, the happier Elon Musk is. Uh, and the more people who want to buy an electric vehicle, the more of them are gonna do their research and figure out that the best electric vehicle they can buy is a Tesla produced by the company 
that doesn't make any combustion engine vehicles. Tesla is an EV specialist. And uh, that's my video for today. So we'll check back in with Loki, who has decided to uh, bed down some there. Uh, let's see if we can align this camera a little bit better. Well, that's probably okay. Just make sure his ears stay in the shot. Love you, Loki. And uh, I'll say, if you've enjoyed today's video, click the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, why not go ahead and subscribe to my channel? And uh, you can do that over here. Click the notification bell to be alerted whenever I post fresh content. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon or on Twitter or by joining my YouTube channel as my executive producers, Kathy Kitchler and Rebellionaire.com. <laughs> Let me try that again, Rebellionaire.com. And I'll see you in the next one.